the extraordinary Arab, Islamic, uh, Arab Islamic Summit uh, convened in Riyadh earlier this month mandated our delegation to visit key partners around the world in order to convey our nation's unified stance and work towards paving a clear path to resolving the crisis in Gaza. Our messaging has been consistent. Our collective efforts prioritize an immediate end to military operations, ensuring the sufficient and safe passage of aid and the release of all civilian hostages. We welcome the truce agreement reached through the efforts of Qatar, Egypt, and the United States. While this is a, posi a positive development and it allows for safe passage of much needed humanitarian assistance, unfortunately, it is not enough. Not enough assistance is entering uh, Gaza uh, and certainly not enough is reaching the north of Gaza. So the pause is only temporary. It will produce limited value unless it is followed by a comprehensive and lasting cessation of military operations. The world has witnessed unspeakable horrors unfold in Gaza, indiscriminate suffering being inflicted on a besieged civilian population should not be conceivable in the 21st century. Continued escalation will produce no strategic aims for any party. The only sure result is more destruction, radicalization, and further carnage at the expense of Palestinian lives, as well as regional security, including that of Israel. Since this crisis erupted, we have been clear on condemning all targeting of civilians in any form on both sides. Military operations by Israeli forces have been escalating with complete disregard for human life and without meaningful restraint from international institutions. Israel needs to be held accountable for the atrocities it committed, if not through sanctions, then by applying credible pressure on it to change course. If we are to escape, there is recurrent cycles of violence and death and provide hope for a more stable and peaceful future for the people of our interconnected region, we must endeavor to overcome the current crisis and move towards a credible and serious plan for peace. There is no sustainable alternative to reviving the two-state solution, one which affords recognition to a sovereign, contiguous Palestinian state and the right to dignity and prosperity for the Palestinian people. We remain committed to ending this catastrophic situation, and we will continue to work closely with you and other international partners on that front. Thank you.